Hey everybody, and welcome to the first episode of UX Rating. This channel is all about helping you understand UX design and use it to make awesome user experiences on the web. We're going to talk about everything from understanding user needs to designing and testing user interfaces that solve those needs. UX design stands for user experience design, and there are a ton of definitions for what that means. But one of my favorites is from uh, Marika McCloskey, who is the Director of Research at User Testing. UX design is a commitment to building products with the customer in mind. That is to say that UX design isn't about you or me. It's about looking at everything from the point of view of the customer and making sure their experience is as seamless and efficient as possible. The term UX was coined by Dr. Donald Norman in the 1990s when he was the VP of Advanced Technology at Apple. And since then, it's become a marketing buzzword that can mean hundreds of different things. But to Norman, UX design wasn't just about one aspect of a business or a product. It was about creating an amazing experience for your user from the moment that they hear about your brand to the hundredth time that they make a purchase. Before we get into the details of what a UX designer actually does, there are two terms that we need to talk about that are frequently misused when talking about UX design. UI and usability. UI stands for user interface and is basically the front end design and structure of any product or application. Usability on the other hand is the efficiency of a user's interaction with that interface. While these are both a part of UX design, great user experience is about understanding user psychology and the reasons behind the decisions that they make not just making something that's really, really good looking. Because UX has so many definitions, a lot of companies have different responsibilities and expectations for a UX designer. But these can really be narrowed down into three categories. Research, design, and analytics. Before we go into each of these categories, it's important to understand that all of these work in combination with each other. Research helps inform the design of a project, and analytics helps to optimize and improve that design over time. The goal of user research is to understand user psychology and why they do or don't take any particular action. So let's say that you own a bike shop and you want to start a website so you can start getting online revenue. But you've done some recent surveys and you found out that your users want more of an in-person experience where they can test out the products and talk about their needs. As a UX designer, it's your job to align these goals. And that's where design comes in. The goal of UX design is to create an interface that caters to your users' needs in the most streamlined way possible. It's worth noting that UX design doesn't include the actual development of a product, just the design of that product. Unfortunately, a lot of companies still associate UX design with development, but a great UX professional focuses on the design of the product, not the actual production. So let's go back to the example about the bike shop. Now that you know that your users want an in-person experience, you can design something that caters to their needs. For example, you could create a map to the store in every page with a form to schedule an appointment. Now you've got something you can build and test. The goal of analytics is to test and optimize your designs to make them the best they can possibly be. Analytics covers any user or traffic engagement metrics. So going back to our bike example, now that we've got a design in place, we can start gathering metrics to understand what's efficient about our design and what we can do to improve it. So the three basic ingredients of a great UX strategy are research, design, and analytics. If you can understand these three aspects, you can create awesome experiences for your users. Thanks for watching everybody. I'm super excited to start this channel. Um, if you liked what you saw and you want to see more, click the subscribe button. Um, and I'll see you next time.